At our 20th anniversary celebration, Groundwork Ohio was privileged to honor two of our founders, Margaret Holbert and Marcia Egbert. They generously shared their wisdom and inspiration. Donate today to ensure Groundwork's continued advocacy on behalf of young children. When we first came together, we simply wanted a table where all the interested people were sitting. There were so many funders who were getting excited about investments in early care and education. The only way that you can really move something at scale that will eventually touch and support all of the children that need it is to move through the worlds of advocacy and public policy. Brilliant programs touch dozens or hundreds or even thousands of children on the ground, but how do we lift the entire boat with all Ohio's children in it? That the way to do that is through the power of collective voice and advocacy. I also think that advocacy helps you get to the heart of issues of inequity and injustice. Private philanthropy is amazing, but it is not sufficient. It never will be. It is government that provides those services that cross all of us, that make all of us equal, that lift the lowest of us up. So the challenge is on us. We have our business leaders engaged. We have professional women engaged around this state. Funders are engaged. Providers who have the capacity are engaged. Particularly have to reach out to parents whose children are getting our services so that they're crafting those services and the solutions to the challenges that face their own lives. One of my profound heroes is Mr. Rogers. He had been invited by the world-renowned cellist Yo-Yo Ma to come to a master class of young cellists and there was one particular young man, a middle schooler, who was very nervous and as Mr. Rogers told it, Yo-Yo Ma took his hand and put it on the young boy's cheek and said, no one else can make the sound that you make. You don't need to be the world's best, you need to be you and make the sound that you make. And so when I look around here and see the parents and caregivers and program directors and administrators and public servants and elected officials business leaders, no one can make the sound that you all make on behalf of every child. We have to change those things that make it hard to be a young family, to raise young children. And we need to have programs that measure less what your income threshold is and more what your family need is. 20 years from now, children should not be the poorest residents as a collective group of the state of Ohio. <laughs> but also 20 years from now, I really, truly, deeply hope that Groundwork is right here in this room celebrating another 20 years of impact. Mostly, I hope 20 years from now that we're all doing this work with absolutely unbridled optimism and joy.